Hi, welcome to a walkthrough of the latest ISATAN investor presentation. Um, the regulatory and legal, you can go through with the associated PDF. And um, just a, a reminder about who we are. We are a, um, a global leader in AI surveillance. We are headquartered in Australia, ASX listed. Um, we have regional sales and implementation teams in the Middle East and APAC. And this is a, a reminder of, her, of our wonderful board of directors and executive team. And just as a probably a, a reasonable call out about the latest additions to our executive team, um, Matt James joined um, recently from VG, like from VGW. Um, Matt and I worked closely in the early days um, and it's lovely to have this technical partnership back again and we're seeing massive output from the engineering and AI team since Matt James joined and um, and to be honest I'm, I'm really enjoying it and um, talking about transformation also bringing in Sean Clark um, who's been bringing a, a similar level of experience and expertise in the sales and marketing side um, you'll see and later on in the deck how Sean's um, strategic focus is, you know, is, is already paying dividends and the, you know, and the, the, the well-defined go-to-market and the execution and growth of, of the sales capabilities. So just a, a bit of a, an update on the new people. Um, from a, a corporate overview perspective, the um, the, the half yearly revenue is up 183% year on year. And this is largely to do with the $1.5 million hardware deal that we sold to one of our largest customers. Um, maybe obviously we would prefer ARR here, but um, it did give us excellent experience in rolling out the 50, you know, the, the, the roughly 50, um, AI servers locally, so we've got um, strong expertise in sourcing hardware, rolling out at scale. Um, our March 24 ARR sits at 1.8 million. Um, Isotan is currently well capitalized with just under $1 and $2 million in the bank, no debt. And our key metrics for the, the March quarter we are up 12% on ARR from last year, and we are up 18% um, on quarterly revenue from the year before. So things are looking very promising. And just at a glance, we have 74 customers' sites. Um, we are spinning up more active distributors as part of um, our go-to-market focus. And we've got 15,000 cameras under license, which generate roughly 2.6 million hours of footage each week. We're across five continents. We have 17 staff. Four of them are based in the Middle East. And our um, compound annual growth um, is currently at 29% per annum over three years. So um, we're in reasonably good shape. The challenge that we face is a large one, and there are um, you know, o over a billion in growing CCTV cameras across the world. Um, you can read through these bullet points, but it can be reasonably well articulated. Um, our largest customer has 8,000 cameras. They have a requirement to monitor all of these cameras in real time. Um, if, you, if you consider that within five hours, these 8,000 cameras have created more footage than, than that exists in the entire Netflix catalog, then it gives you a bit of an idea. You know, like the, um, our software, um, if, if without the Isotana software, they would need to increase the, the size of the team significantly to, to monitor it. So the challenge is, is tangible, the opportunity is massive, and the way that we solve it is through our expertise in artificial intelligence. So um, we, we deliver um, advanced event detection. We reduce the false positives. But effectively, what we do is we use machine learning um, and AI to monitor 
all of the cameras. We do this with a self-learning approach. So um, compared to our competitors who you need to put rules in and the likes, you switch Isotana on and 24 hours later, it starts reporting unusual or, um, or, or dangerous events. And after a week, the system has learned the rhythm of the installation. Um, further still, and I'll, I'll talk about this later in um, autonomous security, but um, effectively, we solved the problem by being experts in AI and having over 15 years experience in um, using AI to keep people safe across large scale surveillance networks. So the this idea of autonomous security is a is a the backbone of our innovation at Isatana. It's a pretty good analogy because um, customers often can relate to it in terms of autonomous driving. Um, level zero is no automation at all. That's just straightforward motion detection. Similarly, in autonomous driving, this is you know if you have no cruise control, um, if you have no automated steering. Level one is typically where a lot of our competitors um, exist. They, they manually draw perimeters, they put in masks, they, they create rules, and you can get a 2x improvement on your um, on the, the coverage, the number of cameras that security operators can cover um, realistically with level one. Um, out of the box with Isotana, you get level two, which is partial automation. Um, in general, this means that you know if a if a security operator can cover thirty cameras with Isotana, they can cover three hundred cameras. Um, and the way this works is by Isotana automatically learning the context for each camera scene and reporting on either you know interesting events or or um, dangerous events. After a while with Isotana. Um, the users can thumbs up to say we want more of these events or less of these events and our contextual this this brings us to level three autonomous security with contextual automation um so so we 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 operate comfortably in the level two level three um area which you know once you get to contextual automation that the the security operator who could handle 300 cameras can now probably handle 600 cameras we are nudging towards full automation. Full automation for Isotana is this is our um, this is our equivalent of AGI. It's an aspiration. We're heading there. We don't know when we'll arrive, but um, we're, we're we're firmly set in this direction. We're using the the latest um, innovation from large language models to improve the focus of the um of the system so for example you can put in there things like um you know is there an occupational health and safety risk you can actually put in the, the shopping mall rules or you know like the to 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 further augment the human operator so that they can have more automated coverage across more cameras i'll chat more about that when we go through the product um portfolio this is the product portfolio or the Isatana ecosystem. Our success has largely came from our security product. Um, this is the, the, the original innovation um, from Isatana. But since we've rebuilt the system with contemporary technology, we have opened the door for um, much more focused analytics. So already we've got heat maps, people counting, behavioral analysis and reporting. Um, we're getting some demand for retail analytics in particular that we're going to follow up with. Um, and we've, we've also building out a, a strong real-time forensics capability. This was something that we built because we have the data. And already we're finding that our forensics capability is, um, is enough for us to take deals off of larger incumbents. I'll chat about this in a little bit later, but also the, the, um, the forensic side of the business is, is, a, um, you know, is a business itself and it's, um, it's proven to be very interesting. One of the, 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 the feedback from the, um, the prospective customers in the Middle East where our go-to-markets focused, 
is that they're interested in license plate recognition and facial recognition. And ideally they would like these within the Isatana ecosystem. So the same way that Isatana makes it easy to um, roll out security event detection, we are currently building um, license plate recognition and facial recognition so that it can integrate well with our, um, our easy to use platform. The other um, capability we're building out just now is event prompt. Um, this is, is, this is a, a leverage of the LLM technology that's coming out. Um, we can, you can specifically write the event that you're looking for. So things like, you know, as, um, does someone, is someone carrying a gun? Is there a fight? You know, these, these, um, LLMs can add a whole new cognitive layer to the, um, to the scene detection. Um, even things like we were testing the other day, you know, is someone carrying a knife? Um, you know, is, does someone have a hard hat on? Um, so, so these, this has opened up a whole new long tail of use cases. Um, you know, for example, uh, a shopping mall could put, could simply put the rules of the shopping mall into the Isatana event prompt and Isatana would find um, breaches to that and things like, you know, occupational health and safety and like, so we've, um, we've increased our, our potential success surface here by um, uh, by building on the success of the security product and we're expanding it and you know we 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 are getting um, pretty consistent feedback that this is these are the right products to build in the geography that we're currently focused on um the there's a huge investment in artificial intelligence um video analytics is you know our niche within this but you can see here that the um anecdotally there's growth um and 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 continued projected growth in ai and video analytics um we're really well placed to take advantage of this and um, this the swell in, in ai and our customers are reacting well to it um, so the, the, the investment and growth, we recently raised, last year we raised $2.2 million. Um, we hired the sales team. This was the on the back of this strategic raise. We brought in um, some, some experienced sales executive or as, as an experienced sales executive, Sean. Um, we subsequently hired two new sales members in the Middle East. And we've just recently hired a, a, a customer experience manager to help us with the growth. Um, we defined a, a, a go-to-market around a focus in the Middle East. And, you know, this is, I'll, I'll show you in the, the subsequent slides that it's already paying dividends. The, so in this quarter, we, we had a, um, you know, a, a more global focus, our go-to-market, you know, has 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 we've, we've focused our marketing efforts on the Gulf region. Um, our website unique users have gone up four hundred percent. You know, partly to the, the interest in AI, um, but our really specific focus on the Gulf um, has given us a two and a half, like almost two and a half thousand percent increase in the views, and this is manifesting in you know sales qualified leads. So the sales qualified leads that we've that we brought in from the quarter, we, we brought in twenty thousand um, camera licensed sales qualified leads. And just in case this is not obvious, this is um, you know customers who have an interest in uh, um, a problem that we can solve, you know, a budget that we can work with, and you know, collectively in the CRM, there's twenty thousand cameras um, for us. So. So we set this. We set out to achieve this in the quarter, and we, um, you know, we we hit it and and a little bit more. So that was that was encouraging to see the go to market working. Also, from a sales perspective, um, in the quarter we sold one and a half thousand, fifteen hundred new licenses. This is going to add one hundred fifty thousand dollars of ARR once these cameras are deployed in April and May. Um, we've also converted. 
$350,000 in ARR from the old product to the new product. So this is more evidence that we've built the right thing and more evidence that our customers are sticking with us. Um, we've also renewed, our largest customer has renewed, moved on to the second year and renewed um, half a million dollars in AR. So, you know, again, things are looking good as, as growth lead indicators in this quarter. Um, why, should, why should you invest in Isotana just now? We believe that Isotana is underrated. We've got a 3.8x um, multiple on our ARR. Um, typical SaaS businesses are sitting around 5.5. But in this AI security tech niche, um, the multiples are around 40x. So we, we believe that we are underrated in terms of the market cap. Um, we've, we continue to prove there's a market demand for the product. Um, we, we, we set out strategically. The sales cycles are, are, are not fast, um, but in the last quarter, one of the sales that we made took three weeks from um, you know, initial contact with the, with the customer or the prospect to getting the, the purchase order in. So, so these, these sales cycles are hopefully shortening, but we set out strategically to focus on the Middle East and we didn't expect to get the, the turnaround that we're getting with the speed that we're getting, but it's here. And, um, and, and it, it looks like that, that market demand is about is will continue to grow. We've got a scalable business model and software businesses are you know things I love. SaaS software businesses are things I really love. And AI software SaaS businesses is the Venn diagram of um, you know of 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 engagement and excitement from myself and the team. And from a, an innovative technology perspective, I think I mentioned earlier we are able to compete because with some we're able to compete with some really large players who are really well resourced and often when you know you have a team of 200 300 engineers you move slowly and what we're finding is you know since Matt James came our our output from the small number of engineers we've got is massive and you know for example we can roll out the forensics tool, which n not only competes with the you know the large incumbents in that space, our experience is better. We do it in real time. You don't need to you know build models and you know wait for a couple of hours. And um and, and our overall product and offering um you know is 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 being met well um as we as we go through this sales cycle. So we think it's an exciting time to invest in Isotana. We're excited to be here um, and we're looking forward to seeing the, uh, the investment and the um, and our go-to-market um, turn into to growth um, soon. Um, please, if, please feel free to reach out if you'd like to chat more about the, the business, the product, the team, our growth plans. Then please reach out to me at kevin.brownisatana.ai. I would love to hear from you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for your time.